we're in Malaga. I'm here visiting my cousin Ryan. Say hello, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. And we're starting up in Torre Molinos, which is where he lives, which is known for its fish and chip shops and its English people. But we found a really cool little bar to start, La Taberna Que Pasa. We've ordered some tuna skewers, we've got some tortitas that come with little fried shrimp fritters, and we've also got something else. Oh, some mussels coming as well. And the idea is, ah. over the next few days we're going to have a binge, eating as much Malaga food as we can. We're out in downtown Malaga. Say hello, Ryan. Hello. We're going to have some tapas to see where the night takes us and how it ends. Bar number one, courtesy of my colleague Honey, who lives here, is Sibaris. We're going to get the Presa Iberica, which is the grilled pork. is a little rollito, a little roll of, what was it, shrimp, bacon and tomato. And this one here is bacon and dates. La Mesonera for flamenquin and slow cooked beef cheek, carriada. We've stuffed ourselves silly in two bars now. I'm gonna have a bit of a break. I'm gonna go to the top of a terrace and be all like cool and fancy and have a drink. La Pinoteca de Moreno. Uh, two local wines from Ronda and Malaga. Um, we're not eating anymore because we're full, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, side streets, wine bars, cousins, family, what more do you want? So uh, finishing our last drink in El Pimpi, which is a legendary institution in Malaga. Since 1971, it's been a bodega hosting these Malaga-style wines, these sweet-style wines. Um, Pimpi was a character who used to help passengers off boats when they were coming to Malaga to spend their time here. And this is where we're going to have our final alcoholic drink of the evening. Salud. Day two, warm day two in Malaga, and I'm off to meet Hani, one of my colleagues who runs Devour Malaga, to do the Devour Malaga food tour. Lunchtime at Maison Antonio. You tell me that your skin's soaked. And tell me, does your face look cold? Are your eyes red from your tears shed? Oh, tell me, do you feel let down? Day three. After yesterday's food binge, uh, the food was really good. Um, tried quite a few different things. It was full for the rest of the afternoon. Today is my last day, and it's really sweaty and hot. And I'm now going to go for some breakfast in a place called La Recova, which was uh, recommended to me by Hani. The spooky thing is, it's a pottery shop, and in the back is the cafe. Tell me, I 
Malaga's wine is now Antigua Casa Guardia, the oldest bar in the city from 1840. Now Malaga wines are quite confusing. There's Sierras de Malaga region, which is where they make normal dry styles of wines, and then there's Malaga region, which are these sweet wines. They use Moscatel grape and Pedro Jimenez grape. Um, there's two ways of making it. You can either dry them out in the sun, like grapes, turning to raisins, and then make the wine from that. Or they pick them when they're just very sweet in general. Moscatel's a very sweet grape, and they make a naturally sweet. It's lunch up on the final day. Here's Hanny. Hi. The famous Hanny. We're going for lunch. We wanted to go to the sea, but don't really have much time. I can't really be asked. I'll do that in winter, so don't it's complain. Don't complain in the comments. Where are we going? We're going to Meso Mariano, which has been here since 1970. Sounds good. It's amazing. The best artichokes in Malaga. Sweet! Time for some dessert. Now we were going to go to what's the original place? Casa Mira in Calle Larios. The main street, which is from when? 1890. But that's for tourists. That's for tourists, man. So where are we going? We are actually still going to Casa Mira from 1890, but it's in a back street. It's one that nobody knows about. Good. <laughs> Well, that's all from me in Malaga. Of course, there's loads of things we haven't had. I didn't have fish on the beach because of time, but I think we did a pretty good job of having a look at the local food scene in this beautiful city. If you like the video, give it a like and a share, and please subscribe for more wonderful videos from me. Uh, apart from that, see you next time. <laughs>